coaches and trainers will always incorporate an easy session after a high intensity session and always i think should always have a day off whether that day off is some you know strength training or technical training or things like that that's okay by me watching film doing some basic technical things shooting free throws if you're a basketball player whatever but it has to be something easy that's unstressed and that's what allows you to to get the most benefit and i think that people who are not coached you know or who have a coach that's perhaps a bit more inexperienced they get driven to do more and more and more and they find that they're not getting better and that's probably because they're not having adequate recovery and one of the things we did in all our altitude training studies we decades studying the best way to do altitude training for usa track and field and the us olympic committee is to monitor early morning heart rate that was our best indicator so we'd have the athletes put their heart rate monitor on set an alarm put their heart rate monitor on if you've got a, a watch at rest that's pretty accurate during exercise the watches that just use the ppg the plethysmogram are not accurate that's a whole nother discussion that we should talk about but put it on at rest and track it for, you can go back to sleep and see what it was for those five minutes before you woke up again. And as you start to get overtrained, that resting heart rate starts to climb. And that's a signal that, okay, I need to reduce the frequency of my intensity sessions, I need to make them a little shorter, or I need to make sure that I'm adding adequate recovery and take a day off.